for someone to acknowledge that what you're doing matters really, really matters to another person. To, for someone to know they're being seen and what they're doing is influencing joy in another person, that really matters. And not from an ego personality way. Oh, I guess I'm getting an A plus in being a person. Now, I'm not talking about that kind of judgment or that kind of um, human measurement. We, we crave in a very right, right way to be a body of people doing this together. And then when we find ourselves with our tribe or with our family, there is a, a sense of someone carrying your rocks in their pocket, someone holding the atmosphere for your continual coming forth. Because the initial time where you start coming forth, you still keep bumping into rocks and things that are in your head and your heart that will need attention. If it were instantaneous, we might probably all burn up because that much love moving through a capacity that hasn't been familiar with it might actually be overwhelming. That wouldn't be true if we never closed down. But because we have had teachings and beliefs told us about how we don't deserve to live a life like that, or that's just not normal, that's just um, for the mystics of the world. Of course, a person saying that is saying it because they don't know it either. So you might be the invitation to the person who's been telling you it isn't so. You may be the, that answer that that person is craving as well. I think one of the greatest lessons I ever learned was when I passed by a teacher in my understanding. I don't, where I was trying to share something with a person I had high respect for and they just didn't get it. And I realized um, I do. And it was something they had yet to, to understand. And it was a great gift to me because I was not, no longer gonna be stopped by the limited understanding of the people I thought were smarter and greater than me. I was, just, I was designed to just keep going and not to judge them as being lesser than, but not stop myself because they didn't get it yet. I got it. And I had places to go and people to be with and things to bring. And you do too. I mean, this isn't the Jane Anna Trini story. This is the you story. I am requiring and asking of you to come forth. Come forth and be even greater in your willingness to love your world. Because I've been exposed to 90% of your ability to love the world that, with, that we share. Some of you I haven't met in person, but you're here with me coming forth. You don't have to come forth by speaking on a service. You come forth by pouring your radiance into that little square on the screen. So the mystic experience, to repeat myself, is one of immersion in the pattern of love, communion with it, and the expression of it. We find ourselves being unique expressions of that spirit. How delightful. Not, let's go from confused to delighted. Because <laughs> so often we get confused because people's expression is so different from ours and we wonder, how are we supposed to get along? How is this going to work? I don't understand this person or the way they think. That's okay. Let it be over here. Let it be over here. My mind is a little confused and my heart is a little disturbed and I am present. Radiant as the expression of love through the pattern of truth into the world 